Hello and welcome back to the League's Adventure. Our first Hispori kill is a casual 35 seconds and this will be some guaranteed collection log slots. Hopefully two if we're lucky. Oh no. Unfortunately no bottomless compost bucket one kill count. But we did get the ISR seed which is a collection log slot. So I think that's a great start to the video. And I figure real quick since we already have all the stuff in the bank we might as well knock out 99 herb lore right here. Another 99 and another 125 points. I, we don't have many skills left to go, honestly. So I'm kind of not feeling well today. I'm going to take it kind of laid back. We're going to do some chill Slayer monster grinding for their unique, starting with Dark Beasts. Obviously going for the Dark Bow, which at a tripled rate is like 1 in 170 or something. Shouldn't take too long, and these guys should at the very least be AFK. Real quick, a big thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. It's no secret that I spend a lot of time at my computer for my job, and doing what I do means I don't usually have much time to sit down and read a physical book, so that's where Audible comes in. Audible has a huge library of audiobooks in their catalog that members can download and listen to anywhere at any time. It's really amazing for when you're working out or even just working. This includes one of their newest Audible originals, Impact Winter, from the executive producers of The Walking Dead and the writer of Pacific Rim. It's a completely original saga created just for Audible. It's a story about a comet hitting the earth and blotting out the sun in the near future. Beastly creatures then emerge in a sunless world. The whole audiobook is presented with 3D audio which provides an intensely immersive experience. If you want to give it a listen yourself, go to audible.com slash impactwinter where you can get yourself a free 30-day trial of Audible. Thank you once again to Audible for sponsoring this video. Hey, there we go. We got the dark bow on the ground there. Looks beautiful. Only took like uh, 69, oh, 69 dark beast kills. Absolutely perfect. And I think if we equip this, that is a task. Yes, and it also pushes us over 25,000 league points. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Plus, this weapon is so good looking. I kind of wish the dark bow would get a buff or a little item you could add onto it to make it relevant again because it's a beautiful weapon. Next items we're going for are the leaf bladed sword and the leaf bladed battle axe both from Kurosks. I think with the boosted rates the sword is only like a 1 in 166 and the battle axe is 342, 1 in 342 and then they also have the chance to drop the Kurosk head at 1 in 3000. Unfortunately the rate is not boosted but I mean it's possible and they do drop the mystic top light but we already got that from Hydra so whatever. Oh yes finally where is it? It's somewhere on the ground I, I don't know where it is. There it is the leaf bladed sword. This is so huge. It's going to speed up our kills massively because we can get the slayer helmet bonus and we can get the bandosian might but wait no what leaf bladed sword there we go and equipping it as a 25 point task as well very cool so now we just need the axe which is much rarer but now with a sword like i said we're gonna be getting these kills so much faster oh also 99 attack just now so now we have all 99 combats except for ranged and prayer I really, after this grind, I think I want to go to the Wildy Altar and try to use all the Dragon Bones and such that we have in our bank. I think we're probably pretty close to 99 Prayer. And then Ranged, I, I don't know, I just don't range. I feel like Ranged is a bit underwhelming this league, honestly. Oh, another Leaf Bladed Sword dropped from a Superior. Alright, another Leaf Bladed Sword. Another Sword. Uh, okay, that's not the Collection Log slot I expected. I've been like full AFK, I'm gonna be honest, I'm playing Lost Ark, I'm having a good time. We just got the imbued heart from a superior King Kuresk. That's awesome. Not exactly what I set out to get on this grind, but that's going to be so good when we go back to Zalra. I'm going to take this as a sign. I think we'll go back to Zalra soon and, you know, hopefully actually get a unique. And there we go, the Leaf Bladed Battle Axe finally. Only went a little dry on this, thankfully, and we have completed everything that we want from Kuresk, so we can move on to something else. Next little relaxing AFK grind I'm going to be doing is here at the Elder Chaos Druids. I can do them on task, so I have a chance to get Laren's Keys, we're also obviously going for the uh, Elder Chaos Druid ropes. There's three pieces. It's like a 1 in 470 chance to get any piece. So uh, hopefully it won't be too bad. Although the big selling point here is how AFK it is. So we pretty much just have to sit here and we will smash through these guys like there's no tomorrow. Okay, so if you're going to do this, be careful actually camping 1 HP because I died thanks to one of the fireballs flying out of the lava and hitting me. So uh, yeah, maybe, maybe keep yourself at like 10 to 20. Oh yeah, there's our first piece, the Elder Chaos Robe. I think these also count as Zami items, so they might be like marginally better than the stupid Zami robes I've been using. Although I think the best is going to be the Dagon High, which hopefully we'll get eventually with the Laren's Keys we're getting from here. I missed some of them because I don't have untradeable drops on. But anyways, first item in. We're also getting a good amount of ranged XP. Might be able to get 99 ranged while we're here. Oh yes, we got another piece, the Elder Chaos Hood. So all we're missing is the top now. No duplicates yet thankfully and uh, i am running low on cannonballs only 1500 so we, oh my god can you stop i want to pick this up so bad dude 
I'm going to lose my... All right, like I was saying, I'm going to probably just stay here until we get to 99 ranged, and then we will go ahead and uh, go to another grind. But this has been a really nice AFK grind. Some really good ranged XP, really good Slayer and Combat XP, and it's super AFK. Oh my gosh, no way. I was just getting ready to record the 99 range clip because we're 2,000 XP off, and we got the Elder Chaos top. We actually finished the whole set. Wow, that is some extraordinarily good luck. All right, and any second now, boom, there is 99 ranged and 2,200 total level on the same uh, level. That's pretty nice. That was not planned. There's 250 league points. And yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I'm blown away that we just got the whole set. This is going to be such a beautiful green collection log. Let's pull it up. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, you gonna close? All right, there we go. Chaos Druids. I really did not expect to fill this up with only one duplicate. Oh my god, that is awesome. All right, and also, only combat stat we have left to do is prayer. So I think we're gonna take all our bones to the Wildy Altar and uh, throw them on there. Let's see how many dragon bones we have. Uh, bones, we have almost a thousand. Is that enough? So here's the strat. We're just going with a full inventory with the cash and the bones and everything, because like... What's the worst that can happen? I can get PK'd, and then they get nothing, and then I come back and pick it up again. So, I mean, this should be insanely fast. No banking required. We'll just unnote everything of the dude out here. And uh, I can't wait to see how much XP we get per bone. It looks like there's somebody already here. Please tell me it's just a noob like me. All right, every single time we use a bone, we're going to be getting 4,000 prayer XP. Oh, my. Yeah, so if we get lucky and it's like exactly 50-50, we should be getting 8 million prayer XP, which is just about enough for 99. Alright, the guy who was doing the bones with killed me. I don't know what I did to insult this man, but it was pretty cool. He did use the BGS spec on me. Alright, and there is all of our dragon bones used except for this last one. We only got up to 97 and almost a half prayer, but, you know, only 2 million prayer XP. I'm sure if we just do like a couple of Warcath kills and bring the bones here, we'll be good. Alright, that's an elite task for activating an imbued heart. I didn't realize there was a task for that. Also, we're going to be doing crazy archaeologists now. The kills should be so stupid fast now with all of our really good mage gear. Uh, hopefully we can get the uh, the pieces we need for the shields. There's our first shard, the Malediction Shard 2. Let's throw that in the looting bag. And now we just need the Odom Shard. Oh, the Odom Shard. The Odium Shard. It's 1 in 85, so it's like 1 in 43 to get one. We got it pretty much exactly on rates, so let's hope we get lucky on that. Oh, no, it started again. There's the second Malediction Shard. Oh, no, please. Please don't do this to me, game. I don't think I can handle getting them over and over again. Also, a task for getting 10 hard combat achievements. I'm pretty sure I got the task for getting, like, 25 master achievements already, but we've only done 10 hard combat achievements. I guess that just shows how good I am. Are you serious, dude? I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same thing that happened to me in the Collection Log series on my main account. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I kept getting Malediction Shard, Malediction Shard, Malediction Shard. And I didn't get the Odium until like 400 kills here or something. Alright, uh, it's not quite the Odium Shard, but we did get ourselves a long bone. I definitely feel like I'm getting a long bone. Here we go, double the drop rate on the Shard, and we do not get it, unfortunately. We're rank 88 at the Crazy Archaeologist, so I think this is where I'm going to call it quits. We're just going to head over to a different Wildy Boss, because... I don't want to do this again, honestly. I've been dry at like every boss at least a little bit, so I just don't want to uh don't want to overcommit. I'm gonna hate it when I'm like four times the drop right here. So we're at Chaos Elemental now. I figure this boss is probably a great idea because we could get the pet, it's really common. Could also get the dragon pickaxe, which would be huge for something like chambers or I guess just mining. If I want to go for 25 mil, which please god don't let me go for 25 mil mining, that sounds terrible. And the dragon two-hander. The dragon pick and the dragon two-hander I believe are five collection log slots each, so either one of them would be amazing to get. Yes, the dragon two-hander sword on 18 kill count. That is awesome. Perfect. I literally was jokingly staying for a few more kills because we kept getting food drops and uh, it actually paid off. All right. That's like four or five collection log slots right there because it drops from the three wieldy bosses and Chaos Elemental and Calphite Queen, I believe. So pretty nice one. Let's see if we can get the pick as well. Foreshadowing is a literary technique in fiction and drama, wherein the author gives us some hints about what is going to happen later in the story. I, what? Back to back into the dragon pickaxe? Are you serious? All right, well, we know where all my RNG's been stacking up at. Gone dry almost everywhere else, but you know what? I think uh, I think that's good enough for me. I'm happy. I think we can leave Chaos Elemental. Also, if you equip the dragon two-hander, you get two tasks. One for equipping it and one for equipping it in the wilderness. So, uh, 100 points, and I'm sure equipping the dragon pick is a task as well. Yep, there's another 50 points. I tell you folks, it's just that easy. Alright, so there's 10 collection log slots filled in uh, two Chaos Elemental kills. <laughs> 
pretty happy about that. So now I think I'm going to do a little bit of Temporos with these fragments. It should be absolutely ridiculous. Greedy Gatherer to get triple of the fish. And then, of course, Chef's Catch to give a 50% chance to catch the fish or to cook the fish as we catch them. And then, uh, you know, I totally forgot to put on the uh, Alchemist, I think it is. It will allow me to cook the whole inventory in one cooking action. So getting points here at Temporos should be super easy. Couple that with the triple drop rates. We should be able to knock out a lot of collection log slots pretty quickly. Okay, we're just finishing up our second hour of Temporos. We are at 155 permits. Look how fast that was. 4 minutes 36 for 8 points. Usually I get 9 points. I don't know what I did wrong that game. Sometimes 8, sometimes 9. But yeah, we have 150 in just about 2 hours, which is great. We're getting over 1.5 million XP per hour in fishing. So let's pull out a fishing net and do our reward pool. Now something I'm curious about, I assume it doesn't work, but will Greedy Gather triple the rewards that I get from this? Let's see, let's do our first fish here. And uh, 39 Spirit Flakes, that's pretty standard, I think. And, oh, Soaked Pages and Spirit Flakes are both collection log slots, so there we go. Unfortunately, it does not look like you get Spirit Flakes every single time. I was led to believe at one point that you would get them every single time you fish it up due to the triple drop rates, but no. But also, we got the Tackle Box this early? All right, so the Tackle Box and Fish Barrel are both like 1 in 120 to get, so that is awesome. I'm expecting to hopefully also get the Fish Barrel and a decent amount of Spirit Flakes, so maybe we can make some Spirit Angler. Uh, since we're getting a bit less of the Spirit Flakes than I anticipated, we might not be able to make the entire Angler outfit into the Spirit Angler. So maybe I'll do some more AFKing here while I'm editing. Okay, there's the Fish Barrel. How many are we in? hundred. We're literally 25 in, and we've gotten both the items that I wanted. So I could have just came out here after like 15 minutes, and we would have gotten them. So let's keep fishing, see if we can get something else. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love it. We're about halfway done, and we have enough Spirit Flakes to turn one piece of Angler into Spirit Angler. So it looks like we, if we get pretty average luck for the rest of it, uh, we should be able to make half of our Anglers into Spirit Anglers, which is a collection log slot, by the way. I may not have mentioned that, so that's why I'm so excited about these Spirit Flakes. Well, there's 25 soaked pages, which means I got a duplicate of either the Tackle Box or the Fish Barrel, so we've hit those tables three times so far. Only a couple more loots left to go. We hit the 25 soaked pages two more times! Oh my gosh, we just keep hitting the tackle box and fish barrel and uh, i think this next one is our last one let's see oh no one more to go and we are done almost enough spirit flakes to make two pieces of the angler but let's go ahead and make one of them into the angler who do you talk to is it gita do i give it to gita i think i give it to gita yes exchange it and there is the spirit angler headband beautiful although it does almost perfectly cover up my uh, my hairline here so uh yeah, I like that. Here's how the Temporos log is looking after just two hours here. Not bad at all. I think I might actually AFK here a bit more because I'm editing a video right now, and this is pretty chill, honestly. I am now done editing, and that got us another 120 points, so let's go ahead and fish these all up. See if we can nab ourselves some more collection log slots. At least enough of those spirit flakes to get another piece or two of the angler outfit done. Or the Tome of Water. Dude, nice! That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, I'm very happy about this. It's not like particularly useful, but it is a sick collection log slot to get filled in during the league. Just a couple more rewards to claim. We probably won't get anything in the rest of them, but we did get a lot of spirit flakes. I, we might be just barely short of being able to make two pieces. Let's see with our last reward there. Let's head to the bank and see how many we've got. I think it's 1,200 per piece. And, oh my gosh, that is perfect. That is enough to get us two more collection log slots. Let's go nab them. Miss Gita, I assume that's some kind of joke or name. I don't know. Maybe y'all can let me know if it is. And the bottom. So all we need are the boots. Kind of makes me want to do more Temporus. If I need more AFK time in the near future, I'll probably come back here. There are also a ridiculous amount of tasks for Temporus, including one that requires you to get 350 kill count. I was getting like 10 kill count an hour, so if any of y'all spend 35 hours at Temporos in the leagues, let me know. Hispori kill count number two, very likely to get another unique, unless we get an ISOR seed again. And we got add a seed, new collection log slot, and a combat fragment. I really don't even know. Oh, slay all day. Yeah, it's one of the few fragments I'm missing, actually. I think now that we have that, the only fragment we're missing is the tactical duelist one. No, sorry, locked. Yeah, we're just missing Tactical Duelist, which is the same tier as the Slay All Day fragment, which is a cool in-concept fragment, but unfortunately the Prayer Restoration ones kind of beat out any healing fragment. I am tired of being bullied for wearing my crafting cape everywhere. It has great utility, alright, but fine. 
I'll get another fire cape. Jeez. There we go. There is my fire cape, and we got a task. Oh, we got a lot of tasks. I honestly don't know what all of them are, but we completed the fight caves in 35 minutes. That's a 125 point task. We got a Grandmaster Fight Cave Speedrunner. We did it in 2619, so I think that's probably a pretty good time. And we got our fire cape back. Yay. I just realized that I've been sitting on this primordial crystal forever. We never turned these dragon boots into primordial boots. There we go. We've infused them. Let's equip them for 125 league points. They look so cool. I really wish I could use them, but I can't take off the Bando's boots. This, this Bandosian might fragment's too strong. So I've just had a great idea for another AFK activity I can do when I need some AFK, and that is Basilisks. I've just unlocked Basilocked, which allows Konar, Duradel, and Steve to assign me Basilisks, and that means I can go kill them. It's only a 1 in 3 3 3 chance to get the Basilisk Jaw, and uh, I don't know if it'll be an upgrade I ever use, but it is an elite task, and it's a collection log slot. And it's probably AFK with these fragments. Well, there goes my AFK spot. I killed, like, how many of that is it? Like, 60 of them and we got the Basilisk Jaw? Uh, okay, man, I'm definitely not complaining. I'm very happy about that log slot, but, like, what the heck? Thank you for the story, Olaf. We can now combine our Basilisk Jaw with a Nezzy Helm to make the Nate is not face guard. And let's throw it on for a 125-point task. Plus, we look cool. What? The beard comes out from underneath the helmet? I had no idea it would do that, actually. I figured that it would just get rid of it. But, man, look at that. My beard hanging out of the helmet. That honestly kind of looks hilarious. I think it's about time we got our revenge at Zolra. 275 kills without a drop just will not do. We cannot leave it there. It's absolutely embarrassing. Let's get ourselves a drop. Hopefully the Tans Fang or the Magic Fang first. The other ones are not the best. Here we are at 300 Zolra kill count without a drop in leagues. Oh my lord. I calculated the odds of this and it is literally over a 99.9% .9 chance for me to have gotten a drop by now. It's not looking good. I'm... <laughs> I'm honestly bewildered. I, I have no idea why this is happening, but let's just chalk it up to uh, a little bit of bad luck after the third age druidic or something. All right, finally it's over 312 kills for our first drop at Zelra, the Magic Fang. It's a good one. It's a good one. Thank God we did not get like the Onyx or the Serp Visage. I really wish I could say I was overwhelmed with joy, but it's just like a warm, fuzzy feeling. All right, 2,500 charges on this bad boy, and now our Zolra kills should be much faster uh, at the very least, and I guess we'll keep going because we could get the blowpipe. I mean, that would be nice. <sighs> Dude, I'm like trying so hard to stay positive. I really am, but now we've got another Magic Fang. I told myself I'm going to 350, and after that I'm leaving. That's 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 it. That's all I can say. I'm not continuing this boss after 350 because I just can't anymore. I'm so broken and beaten from Zora. Also, it's a Magic Fang and a Magic Seed. So, I mean, that's a cool drop, you know. It's the most magical drop you can get from Zolra, I guess. 350 kill count at Zolra with the... Was that a back-to-back -back Dragon Halberd? Well, that's cool. So, let's... uh. <laughs> Let's just admire this beautiful Zolra log. We went 300 kills without anything, and then at 50 kills, we managed to get two magic fangs. So I'll take that as a sign that Jagex hates me, and I will now log out of this game forever. Oh, whoops, I forgot to do something. Let me change to the standard spell book, and let's alk the magic fang. How much money do you get? 61,000 gold. That's pretty nice. So I wanted to take a break from PVMing and do some clues, and I thought we haven't really opened many easy, so let's get some easy clues. I decided to try the hot on the trail method, but I've been here for 20 minutes and only gotten 10 easy clues from chopping willows. I think it's only counting as one log burned when I'm getting the three logs burned at a time, which really is unfortunate. I mean, I'm only going to get like 30 easy clues an hour at this rate when I should be getting like 90 but oh well I guess we'll try something else for easy clues but I think I found a much better spot to grind this I've set up a cannon here in the goblin village north of Falador and we're just cannoning and running around and killing these goblins here with the clued in fragment which makes it a 1 in 15 chance to drop a clue plus they drop beginners and easies which means that we'll be able to stack some beginners up not even sure I want to do them but maybe we'll do a couple even though the unique rate on them is terrible all right, my cannon just broke, and so that means I've been here for 25 minutes, and we've gotten 37 easies and 35 beginners. So, I mean, that's like 75 easy clues an hour. That is a lot faster 
Then the wood cutting method, of course, you do need cannonballs, which are not hard to come by this league because of the uh, whatever the fragment is that makes you instant smith the whole inventory. So yeah, definitely recommend this spot. If you guys know any better spots to farm clues just in general, definitely let me know in a comment because as far as I can tell, this seems like the best spot for easies at least. There we go. We've got 100 easy clue scrolls stacked up and ready to go. Time to go do these and then maybe some beginners. I'm probably going to drop all of the terrible beginner steps because... There's a lot of them. Wait a minute, I accidentally clicked my Xerix Talisman. It's a task to equip it? I've had it for like three days and I didn't even know that. Oh uh, well, we're 40 easy clues in, by the way. This has taken a lot longer than I thought it would because I, you know, stash units, I have to build all of them and it takes a long time to get everything together. So uh, hopefully we can finish this by the end of the day today, but I'm not so confident. Look at that beautiful stack of clues. 30 beginners and 102 easy clues. We should be able to nab a good amount of collection log slots from these. Honestly, the beginners will 100% be a disappointment. I think that the normal rate for uniques is 1 in 24 beginner clues. So even tripled, it's only a 1 in 8. So like, I don't have my hopes up for this. We don't have any beginner uniques, though, so literally anything will be good. Let's see if we can pull off maybe a shoulder parrot. That would be great. My god. Oh, and if you see cabbage, that is a failed roll for a unique. There's a 50-50 chance to get cabbage or a unique. There's our first one. Sandwich lady hat. Back to back into the sandwich lady bottoms. No way we get back to back into the top. No, there is no way. Anyways, oh, frog slippers. Wow, we're getting extraordinarily lucky. Um, I'm just going to continue opening these and let everything drop to the ground, by the way, because I'm not going to need anything from beginners. Oh, runes? What is happening? The Ceridoman Rune Semi Ornament Kit? We are getting absolutely insanely lucky. The Zamorak Ornament Kit. Oh my goodness. Like, I won't even be surprised if we get nothing from the rest of these. Another Zami Ornament Kit. Uh, breaking the beautiful streaks of no duplicates. Oh, the Demon Feet. What? The, the Amulet of Defense trimmed? What is happening? Oh my gosh, this is the craziest beginner clue. The sandwich lady top? Uh, what? What? What just happened, dude? We actually just got half the log filled out and only 31 clues? That is absurdly lucky. Seriously, I expected to get like two or three uniques, but we really managed to just pull out like almost everything. All right, well, I, I can't complain about that. Now onto the easies. We have three slots filled in because we have done four easy clues before this. Uh, we have a nice pile of stuff on the ground there. Like I said, I'm just gonna let things drop to the ground, except if it's something that I need for like a clue step or something. I'm sure there's something from easies that I might need, but yeah, the easy clues are gonna be so great. High wind man mask, Martin teleports, a double clue, black and iron full helm. Oh, a bandos page, which is new. That's good. We really have to make sure to hold on to the pages. A triple unique clue, are you kidding me? And then a double unique. I mean, seriously, in the main game, easies are so good for collection log slots. And with triple rates, they are so gross in leagues. Well, I just realized we've only opened like seven easies and we're already so far. And our first dupe, Wooden Shield G, of course, the Amulet of Power trimmed. Such a good item in the main game because it's worth so much money. Bronze Plate Body and our first Master Clue from the easies. Very nice. Got to get a couple dud clues in there to get the Ancient Robe Legs and Zami Robe Legs in the same clue. Uh, maybe the Zami robe legs are good, though, actually. I could replace my... No, I'm probably using the Chaos Druid ones. Oh, Armadil page four. That's good. There are a bunch of tasks associated with filling up the god books, so I actually do want to keep an eye on the pages. We get another master clue. I mean, a blue firelighter is a collection log slot as well. Black wizard robe top G. A double page unique without boosted rates on the page. All right, that's gross. Also, our bank is almost full. I might have to take a break and clear some bank space. All right, back to the opening. 82 more easies to go. Uh, ham joint. Nice. I might actually keep that. It might be good at TOB because I'll probably do a lot of solo TOB. Bandos page three, and uh, we've gotten a lot of league points as well from this opening because there's just so many tasks. What even is that? Leather Body G? That is the most disgusting item I've ever seen in RuneScape history. Bob's Black Shirt, an actually empty one, a duplicate ancient page. That is a little bit sad. I want my Bob's Purple Shirt. I mean, this is just so much fun, dude. Oh my god, the Golden Chef's Head. I'm pretty sure that's a really rare easy clue item. I don't know if that's one of the mega rare ones or whatever, but that is pretty rare. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool. We have gotten so many. We're literally not even halfway done through this, and almost every single easy clue I've opened has been at least one 
or if not two or three uniques in the same clue. I mean, this is absolutely just such a fun feeling. If you're on the leagues and you haven't done this yet, definitely go through and do like 100 easy clues or something because this is just the best feeling ever. And I'll just move over a little bit because we want to keep dropping stuff on the ground. Only 50 more to go and uh, duplicate page, unfortunately. So honestly, I had the expectations of getting like 50 unique slots. By the way, a team cape and a new ancient page plus a master clue. That is a loaded ass easy clue right there. Yeah, I thought we were going to get like 50 or 60 slots filled in the easy collection log through this. But I... I seriously think we might be even more blown away than that. It's gonna spam click like 10 of them just to see what happens. Uh, did we seriously just, did we seriously just get another team cape? Yeah, we got the team cape zero and a bunch of other log slots. Okay, you know, that kind of makes me not want to spam click through them because like, what? What if I'd missed that and that one on the ground? That would have been kind of sad. I think after this, I want to go check the high scores and see who has the most clues opened in like each tier. Oh, there's 50 easy clue collection log slots. Maybe I was pretty on point with my guess that we were going to fill like 50 slots from this. All right, I'll take that. But yeah, I want to know who has the most uh, filled in collection log slot in each tier because I, I don't know, I just have a feeling you could probably get pretty close to filling in the entire log. Maybe next league Jagex will make more tasks relating to the collection log. That would be kind of fun. And now we have 10 clues left. So in tradition, we are going to spam click the last 10 clues and just let all the loot go everywhere. All right. Oh, we got a rainbow. Nice. We got rainbow, imp masks, uh, some iron uh, plate body trimmed, and I think that's it. There is the, oh, and a duplicate amulet of power trimmed, because why not? Yeah, there is the clue opening. We managed to get a lot of the big ticket items from easy clues. So basically, if you do 300 easy clues in the main game, you have the exact same odds I had while doing this clue opening. So, I mean, you could get two team capes, two amulets of power, chef's hat, ham joint, and rainbow, all in 300 easy clues. It's just that easy. Oh, and also we've got to 61 slots in the collection log for easy clues. We're up to 322 out of 500 in total. A quick scroll through to show you that like, yeah, this was so much fun. I'm half tempted to go to another 100 easy soon. Oh, I forgot to check the shared section. Let's see, have we finished the God book yet? No, but we're really close. We have three Armidal pages and three ancient pages. We still have not gotten a single blessing either. I know they're more rare from easies, but dang. All right, better luck next time. There's a section of the collection log that we haven't even touched yet, Mage Training Arena. I know, it seems like something you would never want to do in leagues, but thanks to this fragment here, Mother's Magic Fossils, which gives you a 300% increase in points, it might actually be pretty decent to do, so we're going to give it a shot. I'll go for at least some of the easier rewards and the Infinity Boots, so we can make Eternal Boots, probably like Bones to Peaches, Infinity Boots, a couple Wands. But if it's really good and really fast, maybe I'll just go for more. And after a little while at Mage Training Arena, oop, let me get rid of the inventory viewer plug, and that thing is a little bit ugly we had now have enough points i think to get all the rewards that i want to get i really wish i timed it to see how much of a time sink this was because uh it seemed like it was pretty fast i at least enjoyed my time here so i should be able to get the beginner wand and then upgrade it into the apprentice wand which is also a collection log slot teacher wand also a collection log slot master wand also a collection log slot, but clearly I did my math wrong in the graveyard room, so we need to go back there. But we can instead grab the infinity boots and then check this. Yeah, I just need to go get 200 more graveyard points. I really don't know how I messed that up. But yeah, we got the infinity boots and three collection log slots with the wand. I don't think there's a task for wearing infinity boots. Oh, there is. Equip a piece of the infinity robe set. Nice. And then there's a task for the master wand, which we will come back and get in just a moment. Please tell me this is enough. There we go. The master wand, another collection log slot. Plus, if we equip this... An elite task for 125 points. There's another task here for equipping full infinity and also one for equipping the mage's book, although I probably will not do that. I just don't think I could see myself doing that much more mage training arena because, uh, yeah, even, even though it is four times faster, I've already done this on the main game and it wasn't exactly fun, but there's five collection log slots and like almost 200 league points, so... So the next thing I want to get collection log slots is for the my notes section of the collection log. Basically, the strategy is to rummage the skeletons or kill mithril dragons. We're going to be rummaging the skeletons since, honestly, I'm not going to go for the dragon full helm. The chewed bones rate is not boosted, just the full helm from the chewed bones. So I just think, eh. Also, the strat for anybody who is unaware, you stand in this tile right here. 
Uh, after you have de-aggroed all the enemies, you might have to run in to extend the de-aggro range. Make sure to use the uh, aggression plugin on Runelight to help you, just in case. Stand here, and whenever you get one of the skeletons that tries to attack you, it will not be able to attack you. It'll be corner safe spot, and then you just hop through the worlds. It is an incredibly fast method, and I think the chance of getting a page is approximately 1 in 13 from rummaging the skeletons. So, as you can see how fast I'm running through this, we're going to get a lot of collection log slots. Okay, I think that's enough for here, honestly. We got up to, I don't know, like 18 or 19. Oh, 20. That's a really nice ending point. Uh, you can get duplicate pages. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but yeah, it gets to the point where you're almost never getting a new collection log slot. And it's just boring, but we are almost at 350 unique items in the collection log. And what I really, really want to do next is something I've wanted to do since the start. No, it's not a boss right now. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you like the boss content, but I like some of the weirder content like Hallowed Sepulchre. There is a fragment that gives you 400% more Hallowed Marks, which means we'll be able to get pretty much all the rewards incredibly fast. So I need to get to 92 agility so we can do all the floors of the Hallowed Sepulchre, but maybe we'll just run the like first four floors for the XP because it should still be good. Also for now, the XP is going to be kind of slow since I will be looting every floor going for the five pages that are in the collection log. There's one page for each floor. I think it's like a one in five chance to get a page upon looting it. And also there's our first Hallowed Marks, which is a collection log slot. We got four of them from floor one, which is just insane. Thanks to this relic that just quadruples the amount you get. I have a feeling this is going to be very fun oh and look at that 99 fletching you know that is uh that is a beautiful sight to see in my eyes and also i think i might actually go for 25 mil fletching it seems like it's pretty dang easy i've barely put any effort in towards getting 99 so doing it again should be not too big of a deal hey there's our first mysterious page from floor three Still going to be looting floor 3 because I need so many hallowed marks. We're almost at 100, which is the first milestone we need to reach so that we can get the uh, hallowed amulet. Because right now, it uses 2 vampire dust every time I want to go past one of those places. And that's too much. I only got 30 from killing virus before I came here, so we need that amulet bad. We have 100 marks. Let us buy the hallowed symbol, a collection log slot, and now we can finally start looting the uh, little prayer challenge ones because there's so many of them and I haven't been able to do them at all. Also, little tip, if you don't know, you get this book from a skeleton right here and you can put your pages in it. It's so nice. And the page from the second floor coming in, we're getting really lucky. It's like a one in 10 chance, I think, to get a page when you loot those. And I assume it's not tripled. I mean, I wouldn't complain if it was, but this would be a weird thing for them to triple drop right on. Next one we buy is the grapple. Trust me, you need this one. You fail so much with a normal myth grapple. It is infuriating. Wow, a mysterious page and 92 agility, and we opened the grand hallowed chest. My mic totally wasn't turned off the whole time. Ha 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 ha. Okay, we've got ourselves over 500 hallowed marks. Time to go ahead and spend some of them. So we've not gotten a hallowed token. This one's super cheap. It just extends the amount of time you have. Kind of useless once you're good at the sepulcher. Uh, the hallowed hammer, the hallowed focus, the hallowed ring, and there's basically all our points. And do we have all of the items? Yep, there's obtain every hallowed tool, 50 league points, and also if we look here, we've got most of the items from the hallowed sepulcher. We're still missing two pages, we're still missing the strange old lockpick, and I could still get the dark die. It's only like 300 I believe, is it 300? Yeah, 300 hallowed marks, and if I'm feeling really crazy, we could go for the dark acorn for 3,000. Probably won't, but I could. Oh, finally, we got the page for the fifth floor. This is my, uh, let's see, this is my sixth run through, which means we've searched about 20 of these chests. So not super dry. The one we are super dry on is the first floor. 26 searches and we still haven't gotten it. Come on, game. Please don't do this to me. Also, we have enough of these bad boys right here to buy the dark die. Another collection log slot, which I'm just going to drop on the ground because honestly, I don't even plan on getting full graceful probably in this league. So we're done with the Hallowed Sepulchre, except for the last mysterious page. I'm literally just going to be doing floor one runs. And then when I loot the chest, I'm going to hop world so that I end up back out here because I just want this page. I, I, it's probably not worth the time it takes to get it, but I'm committed at this point. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and write the joke about how I should be committed because I'm clearly insane for playing this much runes. Haha, <laughs> you're very funny and very creative. There we go. It only took about four or five runs before we got the mysterious page. Feels great to be done with the full set. And now the only thing I really want from the Sepulchre is the elite task for finishing a run in under six minutes and 30 seconds, which is pretty tough admittedly, but I've done the Sepulchre like well over 400 times. So hopefully I could pull this off on my first try. Let's see. 
Okay, it took me two runs, but this one was very good. This is almost a sub six minute run, I think. Or yeah, just about, I think it's about six minutes and seven seconds, if I'm correct. And of course, we are getting the hallowed ring right here from this chest. Come on, baby, just show it to me. Uh, no, it's a rune two-hander, but I believe this was a 607. Let's see if I was correct. Yep, a 607. That's a pretty darn good time, if you ask me. And 125 league points. Not too shabby. Here's a final collection log of the Hallowed Sepulchre. We probably could go for the Dark Acorn and the Lock Pick, but honestly, I don't want to spend any more time here than I have to. I've got enough I have to do on the main collection log series already. Now for a collection log slot that I had almost forgotten about, but I just remembered the Crystal Grail from the Rabbit here in the cave north of Prithinus. Hopefully nobody else has killed it. I don't really know why anybody would. Yeah, there's no tasks associated with this. In case you don't know about this rabbit, it might not be super well known. It's a level 2 rabbit with 2,000 health and a max hit of 40. It's also got some insane defenses on it. It is an absolute beast, but it has a guaranteed collection log slot drop of the Crystal Grail. Let's see if we can pull this off. I have absolute unit on, so hopefully every time it hits me, it'll reflect a good amount of damage. And of course, we have our really good um, magic boosting relics and such, because I feel like that's going to be our best bet. Look at that health bar. It is so chunky. Yeah, we should be able to take this out really easily as long as i don't die on accident there we go we took out the rabbit to acquire the crystal grail we'll definitely hold on to this one this item is beautiful you equip it and your character wobbles around like they're drunk and it also just looks really nice obviously a reference to one of the best films of all time next up the enhanced crystal teleport seed it is a tripled rate so it's like one in 300 ish and uh, we have the full rogues outfit on and the double loot uh whatever it's called fragment on so we should get four of them once we finally successfully pickpocket one which will be really nice hopefully doesn't take too long the fail rate on these elves is pretty high and i just realized i'm not wearing my thieving cape i should go get that okay so here we are thieving the elves if you look at my inventory though i've been here for a long time i've been here for over 900 pickpockets which means we're at about the drop rate we're just shy of a drop rate in the main game that is so we're at about three times the drop rate in leagues which is just absolutely fun i think i'm gonna leave here we're over 20 million thieving xp and i i'm just i'm just not having fun man okay well the next thing i want to do is barrage some czars the spot i like to use is just northwest of the inferno entrance here there are a lot of czar cats you can gather them all up with your trident and then start barraging them with the ancient staff let me get that actually set up for ice barrage the rates are tripled on every single drop including the obsidian armor so even if we get unlucky, we should still be seeing drops here constantly. There we go, our first slot, the Toxzil Ol. I'm honestly not sure which one that is. Oh, it's the uh, throwing rings. Yep, we got those ones. And uh, when you attack the mages, or pretty much everything else around you uh, aggros you. Like, let me see, is it the mesh? I think it's the mesh. And it's one of these, maybe the her. Everybody gets really mad at you when you attack a certain one, and then they all aggro you and go around you. So it's really nice and easy to aggro everything. Then you just got to get the cats, and then you barrage them. Oh yeah, the obsidian cape, probably the most iconic item in all of osrs uh, and for good reason this thing is just so beautiful and these stupid frogs are getting in the way get out of here so that's two unique items we really have not been here that long so maybe we can get a piece of obsidian before we leave it's like one in 666 and then that's per piece so it's only like one in 200 something to get a piece of obsidian it's not that rare hey the toxic toxketzil I, I, I don't know how to pronounce this. The Obby Shield. We got this. Let's go. This is so much fun, actually. Uh, it's going to get a lot less fun once we have most of the items unlocked. But for now, it's a pretty good time, man. Three out of 11? Nine? I don't remember exactly how many items there are in this log. Oh, no. Two dupes back-to-back. -back, an Obby Cape and another Obby Shield? All right, that's really unfortunate. But, you know, it is what it is. Hey, there's the Ket Om, which I think is the Maul? Is that the mall? Yeah, it's the mall. Look at that game knowledge coming in. So impressive. Yeah, we've gotten quite a lot of uniques really fast, as predicted. I think if we can now just get a piece of the obsidian armor, I'll be happy with leaving. But even this is just looking great. And there it is, the obsidian plate legs. Yes, let's check out the czar log. Oh, that looks so good. We're still missing two of the weapons and the staff, which is... No, we're not going for the staff. That's insanely rare. Uh, so maybe we'll stay and try to get a little bit more because I am having a good time here, actually. But yeah, this log is looking beautiful, and we have our first piece of obsidian. Is there a task for wearing obsidian? No, I'm pretty sure there's one for wearing the full set, though, so maybe? Actually, I think this is all the czar barraging I'm going to do. I don't want to overcommit to grinds because we know how that goes. So we have collected our, what was it, five collection log slots in the czar section. Yeah, it looks nice. We got an obby drop. 
that's it's, it's good enough for me. Let's move on to something else. I really, really want to do Vorkath, and so of course I'm going to get a Salve Amulet. There is Haunted Mind completed. 25 points for that as well, and then I think I just chisel this, and then i got to put it on a ball of wool or something, and then we get the Salve Amulet. I also have to do the Lair of Tarn Razzalore, so I went ahead and bought us a Slayer Ring for like 75 Slayer points, so that we can just teleport right there, so we don't have to go through that terrible maze. And here is the Salve Amulet imbued once this cutscene's over. Also, I might stay here and kill these little terror dogs here. You might be thinking, why? What is wrong with you, Shelby? Seriously, I, I don't know what's wrong with me, honestly. I've been to many doctors. They are not quite sure, but I do know that these terror dogs have a 1 in 128 chance to drop the Granite Helm, which is not only a collection log slot in the Slayer section, I think, it's also a collection log slot in the Barbarian Assault section because you can get it from the High Gambles, but that's so stupidly rare and time-consuming that we'll just get it here. Also, something I didn't realize, these terror dogs actually drain your prayer, or maybe it's just Tarn's Lair that constantly drains your prayer, so even though I have Divine Restoration and Living on a Prayer, I have to bring a ton of prayer potions and or super restores to keep myself alive here. All right, there we go, the Granite Helm. This is supposed to be short and quick, but it took over 200 kills to get this. Not super dry, and I'm going to go ahead and waste 800,000 GP on imbuing the Salve Amulet, just in case we ever need to use it for, like, any range or something. And there is a task for equipping a Salve Amulet E. Okay, here goes our first Vorkath kill. This is our fragment setup. I'll do a quick little scroll through. I know a lot of people like to see this because they're bad at picking fragments, which is exactly what I am. This is kind of random, but we got Twin Strikes, 3 Fast Metabolism, 3 Dragon's Touch, so we can get a lot of healing. Absolute Unit 2, it doesn't really matter if you get 3 because you can't reflect damage back on Vorkath, and then Knife's Edge 2 for a little bit of extra DPS. I also have the ones that uh, lower the uh, special attack cost, so I can use BGS every kill to lower the defense, and larger recharger to regenerate special attack energy faster. Let's see if we get owned. Well, I forgot to bring the thing that kills the spawn, so I'm going to be taking big damage from that, but honestly, absolute unit makes us, you can kind of ignore it a little bit. First Vorkath kill was smooth as butter and pretty decently fast too. We killed it in 1 minute 7 seconds. So we got defeat Vorkath, defeat Vorkath in 2 minutes, and uh, 100 league points. Plus something huge, which we would have been getting if we didn't have the stupid praying respect fragment on, would be super anti-fires. But we don't get those because it auto-buried the bones. I forgot to take that off. Okay, we already have to bank. Okay, now we get super anti-fires. Let's pick up those superior dragon bones, grind it up, throw it in here, and I don't know how to make super anti-fire potions, apparently. I, where, where do I learn this? All right, I had to talk to Primula here in the uh, Myths Guild. It's been so long since I've had to do anything like this, so of course I'd forgotten. There we go, super anti-fire, and then I should still have... Oh, I, why did I just do that? Because I have the thing where I can actually save the uh, resource, uh, Mixologist Fragment, yeah, that's what it's called. So actually, I'm going to save these Crushed Superior Dragon Bones, and we'll make a ton of Super Antifires in the near future, but I also have some Lava Scale Shards that I can use to make, uh, you know, this into an extended one. There we go, Extended Super Antifire, and did that just give me 12,000 Herblore XP? That means I have a ridiculous amount of Herblore XP sitting in my bank, because I can make all of these Antifires into Extended Super Antifires, so that's kind of exciting. Oh, 125 point league tax, defeat Vorkath in one minute. Oh, and we beat him in 35 seconds, so we got another task for beating it in under 45. That is a master task. 375 points in one Vorkath kill. See, this is what kind of tempts me to go for the Dragon Cup, because I know there's so many points that we could be getting right now just so quickly, but... Also, do I really want to wither my life away like that? Probably not. Bro, no joke, I just died at Vorkath while my health bar said 22. That is the most embarrassing thing. That has ever happened to me in my entire life. I swear, I tick ate it. I tick ate his attack perfectly, and my health said I had health. I didn't have health. I don't know what happened. Oh, yes, we got the Vorkath's head early at 36 kill count. Oh, that feels so nice to get that out of the way. That's really the only thing I wanted from Vorkath's. I honestly don't even know if I'm going to stay here. Maybe a couple more kills, get some more bones so we can knock out 99 prayer, but I probably don't need too many of them with the 16 times XP. But yeah, there's the Vorkath's head very soon here. We're going to head over and make that best in slot backpack. And there's a 125 point task. Defeat Vorkath 15 times without leaving. Honestly, it was not that bad if I'm being real. Look at all this loot on the ground. Let me get rid of my... Yeah, <laughs> look at that. That's beautiful. I'm going to be leaving most of it behind, unfortunately, though, since I want to just grab the bones mostly. But let's do one more kill to get our 50 kill count. Guaranteed second Vorkath head, just because. 
and another task, 20 elite combat achievements, and a second Vorkath's head somewhere in this mess. I'm, I don't know why I need a second one, so I'm just going to drop that filth on the ground. Yeah, 50 Vorkath kills, all for one collection log slot. I'm not going to stay here and grind anymore. I mean, why would I? All the drops from this boss are stupid rare, even with the triple drop rates, and anyone who stays here long enough to grind that, my hat's off to you. I do not have that kind of willpower. Now, will the bones we got from Vorkath get us up to 99 prayer? I'm having some legitimate apprehensions about whether that's true or not. We, we really don't have that many bones, but I'm going to remain hopeful. And is this dude killing Chaos Fanatic with an attack cape and a Dragon Hunter crossbow? God bless you, sir. Okay, dude, the leagues is something else. Look at the fashion scape on this lad here. It is... It <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely incredible, and he just got a level. Yo, grats, man. Okay, how much XP do the superior dragon bones give you on the altar? This will this will change my hope. Oh, 8,400 XP. All right, I think we're probably gonna get 99. Actually, I'm feeling more confident now. Wait a minute, we're about to hit 126 combat. Is that a task? That's probably a task, right? Yes, it is. 125 league points for reaching max combat level, and now just one more prayer level to go. And we will have fully maxed out our combat stats. There we go. 99 prayer and another 125 points. Awesome. We have our full lineup of combat stats maxed out. And how many more skills do we actually need to max? One, two, three, four. Just four more skills. Wow. That is, uh, that's pretty crazy. It kind of makes me want to. I, I still might not just because runecrafting exists. But if it weren't for runecrafting, you know, we'd, we'd definitely be maxing. Ava, my BFF with the cool goggles that I really wear glasses. I don't really know what those are, but I want to equip them. Anyways, devices, Ava's assembler, uh, 4,990 coins of forecast, 45, please tell me she sells mithril arrows. Oh, I gotta go to Varrock, are you kidding me? I had a bunch of mithril arrows in the bank, we're good. Please, actually give me the assembler this time. There we go, let's put it on. It looks amazing, and it's a hard task for equipping an Ava's assembler. I love when these tasks are like... 100 million points for killing Vorkath, but then you got to kill Vorkath 50 times to get this backpack, and it's only 50 points. Like, I don't know, it seems a little bit harder to me. Maybe you should swap those around. Next up, what I want to do is use all of the dark totems we have. I think that, what is this? Seven? Yeah, I have seven more in the banks. So we have 14 dark totems in total, which will put us up to 15 kill count at Scotizo. I'm honestly not sure if any of the rates at Scotizo are buffed, so we'll see if we get lucky and nab any collection log slots hopefully not the stupid jar of darkness if i get a jar of darkness in leagues i will actually be so upset like that's probably the most heartbroken i could get in this cold dark world we all live in also i want to share with you guys a little tip that i learned from verf uh this is something that absolutely blow my blew my mind i was watching his stream one time and he was killing scotizo and he he just left through this portal there's a portal in the corner of the room every time i've killed scotizo i've teleported out and one time I died because I didn't have a teleport out and I was I was missing some food or something. I don't remember. This is a long time ago. And uh, yeah, I just had no idea there was a portal there. Oh, hey, we got another dark totem piece. Unfortunately, not the full dark totem, which is in the collection log and can only be gotten from Scotizo. But we're a third of the way to another Scotizo kill. I can't complain. And our first elite clue from Scotizo. Thank you very much. I love that all the clues stack. So that I don't actually have to bank all the time while doing Scotizo like you do in the main game. You have to stop and do all the clues. And basically what I'm saying is uh, maybe they should put like a little bit of the stackable clue scrolls in the main game. I mean, this does feel kind of nice. I I'll vote yes to it next time, I promise. 10 Scotizo kills for 50 league points. And of course, the pet... The pet? No, but we got the Scotizo veteran task done. Still, kind of tempted to go for the Scotizo pet. I mean, you could literally get these totems in like f five minutes per totem or something. And there's our final Scotizo kill. Let us admire the 46 second death animation of Scotizo. Wow, it really does last a long time. <gasps> no way! We got the Dark Claw in the last kill! Oh yeah, that's awesome, dude! It's a 1 in 25 drop chance, so we got lucky! Oh, I'm so happy. Not that I'm going to ever use it. I just really wanted a collection log slot from Scotizo. Let's go look at that. Oh, that's so nice. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, there we go. We got the Dark Claw. Also, I didn't even realize the Ancient Shard was in Scotizo's collection log. I know it's in the Slayer collection log. Oh, wait. I thought it was in the Slayer collection log. Maybe it's in Miscellaneous? No, it's only in Scotizo? All right, well, my mind has been blown today, folks. Anyways, we're done with Scotizo for now, unless I decide to come back for the pet. Uh, I guess Dark Totem could also be viable to grind in the leagues, but do I really want to do, like, over 100 totems just for that? 
Not really. You know, using those Gotitos O totems reminded me of the other key-like items, like the giant keys and the mossy keys, and I figure we should go use the free keys and then the extra one that we grinded out at these bosses and seeing if we can get super spooned and acquire these items really luckily. I forgot my super combat, so we better get these kills started right away. Oh my god, I, I just did almost 100 damage in one hit. I just realized I could potentially one-shot this boss without... A Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah well there we go we got the hill giant club that was kind of a, a pretty insane grind one of the most intense ones of my life let's equip that for a 50 point league task um i guess this is where all my rng has been stored i i don't i literally don't know what to say i'm so caught off guard by this one kill count I don't think the rates are boosted on Well, no, the rates are boosted. I'm sorry. It's like 1 in 39. So, I mean, this is pretty unlikely to get this on one kill count. But, hey, I'll take it. I've just realized how excited I am to use the mossy keys. Because there's a potential that I could, like, one or two shot the boss. And not have to deal with those stupid little tree creatures. So, let's go in and see if we could do it. Um, let me lower my health even more, honestly. I don't know how much damage this boss does. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to enter an instance there. It's really scary, I know. Okay, I don't know how much damage this boss does. So, this might be a huge mistake lowering my health this much but it also looks like it uses magic not ranged anyways here we go is it dead oh god please kill it kill it i don't want to see those saplings yay is there a combat task for that do i do i get to be super happy holy sh all right i remember why i hate this boss so much i have not been able to hit bryophyta for 30 seconds because every time i finish killing these stupid little growthlings another set spawns instantaneously like, this is the most obnoxious mechanic of all time. There we go. Maybe we'll actually get to kill him this time. And I'm going to keep recording because this is going to be the Bryo's Essence. Or, I mean, a medium combat task. Called it. All right. Last Bryo fighter kill. And we get a Rune Square Shield. You know, you can't always get lucky. But when you do, it feels good. So now that we're done with that, I'm never going back to that boss again. You know, I came here to do some Seracnus. And uh, I've stumbled upon this absolute mad lad just maging it. I, I never even considered this a possibility, and it looks like it's working out really well for him. I'm guessing he's doing this because it's 100% AFK. He just sits in the corner with Prey Range on and just blood barrages the boss. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the melee method first, but afterwards I'm definitely trying this because it looks amazing. Like, what the heck is this, dude? Okay, dude, I'm hopping around and everyone is maging this boss. Every single person. I'm, I'm starting to feel like a big idiot. Yes, there it is. The giant egg sack at 23 kill count. That was the only thing I really came to score Tizo for because everything else here is pretty rare. The cudgel drop rate? is not increased like you know they tripled the drop rate on most unique drops yeah the cudgel was not one of them which is perplexing to me because equipping the cudgel is a task in the leagues and i'm pretty sure it's only a hard task so i don't know why they didn't increase the drop rate but i probably won't stay here i needed a little bit of downtime so we came here to the mother load mine last night and a little bit this morning and look at this 331 golden nuggets holy this is gonna feel so good so let's get a piece of each of the prospector outfits and then we've got ourselves 151 left over so we can buy the gem bag and if i need a little bit more afk we come back get 50 more and we can get the coal bag as well so i think that's all we're missing from the motherload mine collection log if i'm not mistaken wherever it might be ah here we go it is under other yeah we're just missing the coal bag the rest of it though looks beautiful so i wanted to do a quick progress check of the log and of course the collection log plugin does not work on leagues for some reason i actually have no idea why it doesn't it's a little bit weird but i added up all the slots we have and we are at 407 out of the 500 we need now so just 93 more slots to go we're looking pretty good i think we're just gonna finish it in this video honestly i don't see why not all right time to go to criara a place that i normally would be dreading but in the leagues with Absolute Unit and Chain Magic 3 and Last Recall, it's going to be pretty easy. A quick scroll through my fragments if you want to copy this setup. There is probably a better one. But I'm not the best at leagues, so you know what, who cares. We're also on Slayer Task, and we have Thralls plus Thrall Damage, plus I forgot the Book of the Dead because I'm a genius. But yeah, look at this. This kill should be absurd uh, with the increased Mage Accuracy from the four Zami items, plus the fact that, you know, Kriara should be absolutely decimating me. Well, it should be absolutely decimating me. I mean, he's not really. Maybe I should take my Prey Ranged off, although the max hit will still be like 30. So I will be having to eat like crazy. 
but uh, yeah, the damage is is really good with Mage here, and oh my god, Kriara shreds without prey range on holy. But hey, that was pretty fast. Uh, I gotta make sure to turn auto retaliate off. There's also 50 points for defeating Kriara, and now we can just teleport out, uh, grab the Book of the Dead, of course, because I forgot that like a dingus, and teleport right back in. I uh, I just died. It hit 33, 32, 33. Back to back to back. I was just clicking Karim Blondes the whole time. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking that maybe not praying ranged is not the strategy. Oh my gosh, yes, we got lucky at Armadil. That's awesome. There's the helmet at 11 kill count. Obviously not the most insane piece of gear, but it is a master clue item. So if we do end up doing any master clues on this league, we've got that plus a collection log slot, which is really the most important part. So just the chest plate and the chain skirt to get. Let's see if we can get lucky on those, man. I would love to actually finish a God Wars armor set because I think there's a master task for equipping the full armor set. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. The Armadil chain skirt at 49. All we need is the chest plate. I was really thinking, you know, I'll probably just come here for one item, maybe two. But honestly, if we're going to get lucky, I'm just going to keep going for a little bit. I'm not going to overcommit. I know I have a problem with that sometimes, but... I mean, we could get the top any kill and just be done. Oh my gosh, should I have come to Armadil earlier? This is great. Is this, is this what it's like to just get the drops? That's fantastic. This is the this is my God Wars boss, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. I got pretty lucky at Krill as well. So yeah, I'm happy, man. We got the hilt as well. Like, I don't even know what to say. I don't think I'm going to go for every God Sword hilt, even though that is a master task to equip every single God Sword. And on the Bodhi number, there's our first duplicate, another Armadil chain skirt. It was inevitable. There's no way you can get all three pieces in a row without any duplicates. Uh, well, it's unlikely, I guess. I'm sure a lot of you have gotten that to happen. You know, unlikely things happen a lot when there's tens of thousands of people playing the game. Just remember that when your buddy tells you he got the uh, pet you've been hunting on one kill count, when you're three times dry. Just don't be so hard on him, all right? Well, I think it's time to move on to the final God Wars dungeon boss that we have not touched, and that is Commander Ziliana, a very powerful, very incredibly tough boss fight where I will basically just stand here and face tank everything she does because that seems like it's going to be the fastest way to kill her. Uh, I don't know if I should pray mage because I know half of her attacks are magic based, but we should be dealing a good amount of damage with melee with the Bandosian might and the setup we have now. That looks like praying mage will be the way to go because I know uh, Growler does a lot of damage. So we're only going to go for maybe one or two drops from Zilliana. There's nothing too special from her that I really want. Just collection log slots. Well, here we are 60 kills in without a drop, unfortunately. The most common drop, the Sarasword, is a 1 in 42. Then we got the light at 1 in 84, and then, of course, the hilt and crossbar, both 1 in 169. Sorry for just spewing numbers at you. I should just put a picture on screen. Shelby, put a picture on the screen right now for the viewers. You're making them suffer by hearing you ramble. Anyways, it's pretty likely that we'll get a drop soon. I mean, all of these drop rates combined probably makes it like a 1 in 30 chance to just get a drop in general. So we can't be here for much longer without seeing anything, right? Oh, there we go. Finally, at 74 KC, we've got a Ceridoman Sword. You know, I reran the numbers on the odds of getting any drop from this boss, and it's more like 1 in 22, so I don't want to talk about this. We're going to forget this ever happened. Let's equip the Sarah Sword for an elite task. Plus, we look so cool. This old man is just wielding so much power. And I think we're done with Ziliana. I really expected to be there for like 30 or 45 minutes and ended up being like a two or something hour adventure. So <laughs> let's do anything else. I'm just deciding to do some hard clue scrolls. And I don't... Do we have a crozier? I think we actually do have a crozier. Yep, we got an ancient crozier. And we have a plethora of headbands. I... <laughs> I dropped all the headbands on the ground. I didn't keep any of them. I just, I just left them all on the ground. That was, a good, that was a good move, Shelby. Good job. Oh, no, dude. This is a new hard clue step. I've never seen this before, and I'm assuming it's from the new quest, so I'm going to have to drop a clue that I'm on the fifth step of. Ah, oh, that sucks. I don't know how long that quest is. Maybe I should just, like, go do it, but... Okay, are you guys seeing this chat message right here? Look, I can't go anywhere in the game without just getting absolutely ridiculously bullied by other people all right i get it i suck at getting bando loot all right rub it in my face anyways we have 55 hard clue scrolls completed i wanted to stack up even more but before i do more hard clues and lose more sanity i wanted to just go ahead and open 55 to see if they were as decent as i think they will be for collection log slots so quick reminder we've done six hard clues and gotten eight collection log slots what were we looking from hard clues what are we looking from hard clues? Hmm. What exactly are we looking for from hard clues? Obviously, third age and gilded would be amazing, but 
Nothing really in particular. Maybe some of the items that helped me with hard clues, because I had to drop so many clue scrolls halfway through. One, because of the new quest that has a few new steps there. You, I can't do those. And then also just because of item requirements. So let's see. Let's start opening these hard clues. Bandos Dehide Body and Ancient Bracers on the first one. Ancient Bracers is actually huge if I decide to go to next, except I'm not going to be using range, so never mind. That's not huge. They're terrible. Armadil Dehide Boots. Wow, three god dehyde pieces in two clues that's amazing uh rune helm h5 all right so some some good unique loot but nothing too insane so far berserker ornament kit and h4 shield which i oh i thought i'd already had that i think i need a heraldic shield for a hard clue step so let me pick that up oh we also got 50 points for gaining 20 uniques from hard clues very nice keep up the opening I mean, I, there's no... Oh, there is a unique in there. The rune kite shit. No, but we already have it. Okay, anyways, I was going to say this is a really neat looking clue. It looks very nice and organized. Next up, we've got the triple clue. Dig site, Telly's blue dehyde body, Sarah Coif. That's not another triple clue? No, sorry, a double. Arma Coif and rune plate legs T. Holy Jesus, dude. Hard clues are way better than I thought for collection log slots. I'm a little bit scared we're going to accidentally finish the series here in these 55 hard clues. Another back-to-back -back, triple we just got three or no four clues in a row or no sorry just just three three i don't know I, I just had a brain fart we just had a ton of clues in a row where we got three and that bandos page i think actually completes my book let me look at that uh bandos page am i wrong am i sorely mistaken do we only have one other bandos page am i crazy i'm crazy Okay, I'm running out of bank space so bad right now. We're going to spend 3 mil to get 80 more bank spaces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know it's irreversible. Just just take my money seriously. It's getting ridiculous. Uh, because most of the hard clue items are worthwhile keeping some places. I should probably just build the clue stash in my house, but I mean, it's leagues. I'm lazy. I think it's the Armadil book that I'm almost done with, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Two new uniques as well. Another Bandos item. I think we have full Bandos Dehyde now absolutely insane these hard clues are so stupid and a duplicate god dehyde shield are you kidding me <laughs> these clues are ridiculous all right let's keep opening oh a few without uniques but that's made up for quickly with the ancient dehyde boots back to back into the zami dehyde boots and we just got two tasks two elite tasks gain 30 hard clue collection lock slots and gain 50 I unique items from hard clues 250 points yeah hard clues good definitely do hard clues in leagues they're so good another double unique clue into a single unique clue, another pair of ancient dehyde boots. Sweet baby Jesus, this is insane. The like literally almost every single clue has two or three unique items in it. Uh, Armadil full helm, amulet of glory trimmed. We're getting a lot of duplicate pages. That's like a lot of duplicate pages. Kind of surprising. Uh, what's next? Charge dragonstone jewelry scroll, the most exciting collection lock slot, and then an ancient blessing and ancient chaps in the same section. I think that's our first blessing we've gotten from clues, like overall. All right, we can't stop this train. It is just way too fun. More god dehyde just out the wazoo. Just ridiculous amounts of unique items. Like, I can't even stop to admire all of them because they're just so insane. Like, look at another double clue. A 1337 coin stack. It's Oh, a Zami Coif and a Tan Cavalier. Zami Plate Legs, Rune Cane. I mean, it's like literally every clue has like two to three uniques. Another God Dehyde Shield. I'm pretty sure even with the triple rates, this is this is disgustingly lucky. That, that would mean in under 150 hard clues, we have had, I, I don't know how many, seriously, like four or five God Dehyde Shields. That's stupid. I don't have any other words for it. That is stupid. We are getting so dummy lucky in this clue opening. It is it is ridiculous. All right. Only 14 more. There, nothing else insane can happen, right? I mean, the only other thing that could take me by surprise at this point is getting, like, third age or something. Another ancient blessing. Seriously. No war blessing. Never lucky. And now the last 10 hard clues, which I never spam click the hards because of the master chance, but we're in the leagues. So let's spam click through these last 10 hard clues. Another another god dehyde shield are you are you kidding me are you actually kidding me another god dehyde shield that's the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen in my life let's pick up this master clue and then uh the scroll book which will actually be useful i i don't even know what to say let me scroll through here we're not missing anything too crazy are we uh, just a lot of god dehyde and then also another shield. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to look in the collection log. Okay, the collection log says 479. We seriously got, oh no, it well that was really weird. It said 479, then it went down to 447. That's a really weird bug. Anyways, in the hard clue section, we now have 67 out of 134 items. It doesn't look too insane up here, but once I scroll down to the god dehyde section, oh my dude. 
we got five god dehyde shields in what is the equivalent of 180 hard clues that is insane i don't have any other words for it we finished the zami dehyde set we almost finished the armado one and uh yeah i don't i don't even know what to say this is just gorgeous this is a gorgeous hard clue log for someone who's only done basically under 200 and then in the shared section we're at 31 now still no d or still no god books completed and the only blessing we've gotten is two ancient blessings but still amazing so if my math is correct we are now at 476 total collection log slots only 24 off of our goal of 500 so we are insanely close and uh we're getting we're getting to the end game folks almost time to wrap this up so we've got another hispori done and last time i messed up i did not have certified farm run which doubles the loot you get plus greedy gatherer which triples it so we should get six times loot from hispori i don't know how i messed this up so we should get uh Six bottomless compost buckets? No, but we got 12 ISOR seeds. Unfortunately, not a new seed, but hey, we have 12 of them now, so uh, I think we're good for a while. Oh, you guys will not believe how hard I have grinded for this collection log slot. Here we go. Oh my goodness, the agility arena ticket. Now we're going to do my favorite content in the game, Chompy Birds. I know a lot of you were like, is he going to do it? Is he going to do the Chompy Birds? My favorite thing to watch. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good collection lock slots you can get from Chompy Birds, and I'm really excited to try it out with this fragment right here, Rogue's Chompy Farm. It gives you four times the Chompy kill, so when I kill one Chompy, it should literally count as four Chompies. And so I think we're going to go up to, I don't know, maybe 400 Chompy kills to get uh, some of these Ogre Hats, and uh, it should honestly not take very long at all. Also, since I assume a lot of people may have just never touched this content before, maybe outside of doing the Achievement Diaries, this is... As far as I know, the most efficient way to do it. Basically, you run around, you get a bunch of these ogre bellows, and then you just run around and just inflate toads and drop them right where you got them. This is the most West Point uh, from the uh, Castle Wars fairy ring here. Just come all the way over here. Drop them right where you get them. Doesn't matter. Just drop them down because the more toads you throw down, the better chances you have of getting a chompy because there's like a chance that a chompy doesn't come when you drop a toad and then there's a chance it does come. So sometimes the toads are duds. You just want to drop as many as possible to mitigate this. And when you have this many bellows, it's really easy. And with the slaying of this bird... Okay, I hit a zero. With the slaying of this bird... We have now hit 400 chompy birds. That took like no time at all. That was actually, I'm going to say it. It was kind of fun. Kind of makes me want to go for the chompy pet, but I don't want to burn myself out even more going for a stupid pet that doesn't even have a task for it. I mean, it is cute. And, and maybe one day we'll go for all pets in the league. I'm just kidding. Hello, Rance. I would like a chompy hat. Now, I know that it's like, no thanks. I don't want your bow. Uh, I know it's a little confusing to ask for hats. Can you, can I have a hat, please? Maybe it's not as confusing as I remember it. There, check out my bow, buddy. And look, boom, boom, boom. Like, he just hands them out one at a time like candy. And I think we get 10 hats. Yep, we got 10 hats and therefore 10 collection log slots for getting up to the 400 chompy kills. So if you're looking for some free collection log slots, I mean, this is a good one. It barely took me any time to get the 400. The highest one's at 4,000. Honestly, would probably also not be that hard if you want to spend like a couple hours here going for that. I don't know why you would probably lose your mind, but I think you get some league points for it or something. Speaking of free collection log slots, I forgot that to get the collection log slots for the uh, monkey course, you actually have to transform your monkey. And we do have the Karamja monkey, so... There's one. And then, like, what is our lap count? We should be kind of close to 250. Oh, we're only 29 laps off. We might as well do it. Yay, another collection lock slot. We got to 250 laps. The zombie monkey. Is that not a task? Man, I wanted league points. I worked so hard to get the zombie monkey. But, hey, at least it's cute. Oh. Oh, we're wearing it on our back, apparently. Yeah, oh, look, it's so cute. Next up are four collection log slots that we probably should have gotten a long time ago, and that is the Lumberjack outfit. We're going to do some temple trekking runs here. Thankfully, we've got 24 Morton teleports from all those clue scrolls we did, so it shouldn't be too hard. If I remember correctly, it's semi-easy, uh, except for the fact that you can like constantly get unlucky and not get the event. But once you get the event, you're guaranteed a piece. Oh, yes, here we are. We finally got this event. It took like 15 or 20 minutes just to get this once. And we can now kill the Undead Lumberjacks. Uh, it's a 25% chance for them to drop an outfit piece, but it is eventually guaranteed if you wait long enough for them to keep coming out. And uh, yeah, I was reading around on Reddit trying to find a guide for this to see if there was a faster way to do this. And supposedly, you can world hop while you're in this event. Let's see if it works. We're going to hop worlds. And if this works, and it doesn't kick me out of temple trekking, 
Ah, uh, yes, no way this actually works. We will be able to get another outfit piece. If this works, my mind is just absolutely blown. You know, I think the dude on Reddit lied to me, unless I'm just like eight times the drop rate. I've killed way over 30 more lumberjacks after hopping, and we're not getting any more pieces. So unfortunately, I think I actually do have to do this the proper way. Which makes me depressed. Okay, I got the event again, and we got the legs. What happens if I just fully log out, and then hop worlds and log back in? Maybe that, maybe that's what they meant? They mistyped it? <laughs> I'm coping so hard right now. Yeah, no, after a couple more tries, it definitely doesn't work. Don't believe what you read on Reddit, folks. And there we go, the lumberjack outfit's done. This is way later than I wanted to stay up, honestly. It's almost 3.30 in the morning, I won't lie to you all, but I was just too committed. It took me like over an hour to get the Temple Trek RNG to actually get this event a few more times, so... I don't recommend doing that in a temporary game mode, that was that was not fun. Alright, I finished the Skippy and the Mogers mini quest with some of the best dialogue in old school RuneScape history. Genuinely, you should read the dialogue on that quest, it is, it is quite good. And now we're going to go for the Moger Hat. I think it's called the Moger Hat, Mudskipper Hat maybe, and then the Flippers, which are some of the best fashionscape in the entire game. Both are collection log slots as well. I kind of just wanted to do this to see if I could get lucky on it, because on my main account, it took me, I think, over 200 kills to get the Flippers, even though they're only like a 1 in 60-something drop. So let's see if we could pull it off a little bit faster than last time. All right, we're currently about 30 in, no Flippers or the Hat, but... We got a long bone, so don't worry. Hey, there's the mud skipper hat. That's the really common one. I think it's only like a 1 in 20. But it is some good fashionscape, honestly. If you're in need of some fashionscape, definitely pick this up. I mean, look at it. It's so cute, dude. It's like wearing a little frog on your head. Okay, and a nearly back-to-back -back mud skipper hat. All right, you know. I see how it is. Bro, we have two mud skipper hats on the ground right now, and the one in our inventory. We just can't stop getting them. Uh, can I have the flippers, though? All right, this is the last time I'm recording this, even if it gets crazier than this, but there's three Mudskipper hats on the ground right now. I did, what? Yes, there we go. It took 79 KC, but we got the flippers. Only slightly dry. I am very happy with going slightly dry compared to how it was back in the day. Now we can equip the full fashion scape. <laughs> Look at those, dude. And actually, you know what I just realized? We have the Dark Claw from Scotizo. You can use the Dark Claw to recolor your Slayer helmet into something that is really cool, admittedly. It's a beautiful Slayer helmet. Or you can be like me, and you can use the Dark Claw on your flippers. Wait, how do you... How do you do this? I know you can do this. Here we go. We go to Patchy and we talk to him. Yes, can you sew me something together? Oh my gosh, this is a long, long thing. Does this just open a shop? Where the heck is the... I don't see it in here. Maybe I have to use them on him or something like that. Uh, oh, there's an arrow to the next page. I'm, I'm not that smart. Dark flippers. Here we go. Yes, I don't care. Take my dark claws and my flippers for the dark flippers. The best fashion scape. Maybe the only person in leagues with this item. Because why the hell would somebody else go for this item? And now another place that I really want to test out our maxed out relics at is Barrows. Now that we have Zamoraki in sight, it should be no problem maging like Carol and Aram. And we should be able to absolutely plow through Barrows with this setup. Uh, plus, you know, living on a prayer will reduce the prayer drain, so we shouldn't need to drain prayer pots very often. And we'll be able to keep low health with Knife's Edge due to the fact that, well, our prayer doesn't drain that much, so it's okay to keep it low health. So let's see how much we absolutely shred Darok here. Uh, with our low HP and uh, first hit 1116, not the best. Oh, I forgot to imbued heart 950. So we're now at seven barrows chests without an item, unfortunately. And I'm thinking maybe we should switch it up. Maybe we shouldn't be doing uh, knife's edge and chain magic. And I don't know why I have endless knowledge on. I don't know why I forgot to switch that out. But I think we should do last recall. I believe if we teleport out from the chest and uh, do one Barrows Brother, it should reset the caves and allow us to last recall straight to the chest, and if we open and close the chest, it might keep spawning the unkilled Barrows Brothers, and we might be able to do Barrows runs really fast, so I'm excited to give this a try. Okay, so I teleported straight to Barrows from the chest, and now that we killed Darok, it should reset the tunnels and allow me to teleport straight to the chest, and now when I open it, uh, one of the brothers will spawn, and my hope is, I'm not 100% sure if this will work, my hope is when I right-click and close the chest and then reopen it, uh, it will spawn another brother after I kill Aram. So if this is correct, these barrels runs are going to be so fast. Alright, let's see. Aram's dead. We open it. It did spawn. No, that wasn't mine. Wait, maybe try it again. No, it will only spawn one at a time. But, however, I can skip the tunnels now, so I can do all of my normal Barrows kills, and then I can teleport straight to the chest in the tunnel. So, it does save me a couple minutes per run. Check out the utility. Oh, we're done killing Aram. All we need to do left is take out Carol. 
teleport straight to the chest, fight Carol. Yeah, that saves at least like a minute of time of running around the tunnels. It's not, it wouldn't even be that useful in the main game because the strange old lockpick exists, but because I did not get one from Sepulcher, there's the end of our barrels run and nothing, dude. That's 10 barrels chests in a row with nothing in leagues. A little upsetting. Yep, there's another elite clue. I think we've gotten three of those from barrows. I don't know why. We keep getting the main game rate elite clues more than I'm getting actual Barrows items. I mean, that's what happens in the main game to me anyways. Ha 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 Very funny game, giving me the Torax plate legs in leagues as if it's nothing to acquire such an item. Ah, for those who don't know, in my main collection log series, it took me, god, I don't even remember how many Barrows chests to get the Torax plate legs as my last item. For the Barrows collection logs. All right, back to back items. Eh, no. God, this is like the worst item in the game, but I'm so excited to see it. Aram's staff. Yes. All right, it took 18 Barrows runs to get two items. Unfortunately, I think the rate's about one in five. So, whatever. The Barrows chest runs only take like two or three minutes each. There is our log at 43 Barrows chests. How many items did we get? Seven and 43. Eh, a little bit unlucky. And we never saw a double chest, unfortunately. I think it's only like one in 25 to see a double chest at Barrows in the league. So that would have been really cool. Maybe even a triple chest if we grinded long enough. Don't think I'm going to come back to Barrows right now, though. We only need two more collection log slots to finish everything off. And I think that I know exactly where I want to go to get those. Abyssal Sire. All right, hear me out. I know I hate Abyssal Sire. I know I've complained about it so much over the years about how boring the boss fight is. But with all these fragments, I should be able to make my melee attacks ridiculous. We should be able to shred this boss so quickly. And it should actually be fun. And it's only a 1 in 33 drop chance for the Unsired. And if we get the Unsired, it's overwhelmingly likely we'll get a second collection log slot from that Unsired. Unless we get a whip. If we get a whip from our first Unsired, I'll just rip my hair out. I don't know what else to say. All right, here is our setup for Sire. A quick little scroll through if you want to copy it. This gives us Twin Strikes 3. Uh, some fast metabolism absolute unit and knife's edge i don't think i need chain magic just for the respiratory systems i think we should be able to take those out ridiculously quick maybe i should put zamoraki in sight on here somewhere but if it works out without it then you know it's honestly whatever so let's try it out let's go shadow barraging sire to start this fight off let's use our potions and then let's attack the respiratory oops i forgot there's a delay because you know this game's fun and yeah i don't think we're gonna have any trouble taking the respiratory systems out even without uh chain magic plus if i had my health down really low the knife's edge would be buffing these mage hits to a ridiculous max hit so i could literally one shot the vents mind talisman in these so the one big downside of doing sire right now is i don't have a war blessing so my uh, arc light is still quite inaccurate because i need to have the bandos book on but i think a bgs spec at the start of the kill might just fix that uh, we literally hit over 100 with that one, so I, I doubt we're going to be missing any attacks for the rest of this kill. No. Oh my god, yes! We got spooned at one of my least spooned bosses in the main game. I'm so happy. Alright, unsired acquired. So now all we have to do is not get a whip. And we are done with this series. If we get a whip, I don't know what I'm going to do, man. All joking aside, we're obviously going to get the sire pet here. Go away, frogs. I don't care. All I care about is... The <laughs> you got to be fucking kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. That's the only item I don't have on my main account in the Sire Collection log, dude. Come on. I did not think I could be more disappointed than I would be if I got the whip, but I am. <laughs> you know, it's actually good. Okay, we got 125 points for... Uh, getting uh you know an unsired offered to the font and then i think if i build a display case here and add the jar to it it's another 125 points but anyways that's it folks 500 collection log slots in the leagues uh, i took a bit longer than i thought it would honestly there were some grinds where i started to lose my sanity just a slight amount and uh, i kind of wish i had just switched over to other more fun grinds this is a problem i have i swear i hope you guys enjoyed watching this if you did maybe next time leagues comes around i'll do a similar kind of thing maybe a little bit different depending on what kind of league it is exactly but if i'm being honest it kind of feels good to be done you know how i do things i get way too burnt on them because i get so excited at the start and then i grind them like crazy for like 15 hours a day and that's just, uh, that's a lot. It's a lot to play this game for 15 hours a day. Let's add our Jar of Miasma to the POH, and there's another Elite task. We're almost at 30,000 points, so I guess we might as well finish off 30,000, and then I'll call it quit. That should be enough points for me to get all the cosmetics I want to on my Hardcore. 
And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this series. I had a good time making it. And uh, main collection log videos will be coming back soon. I probably won't be uploading a lot of videos until maybe the middle of March because my son has a small surgery coming up and I'm going to be taking some time off of YouTube to, uh, you know, stay with him while he recovers. Anyways, I love you all. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Goodbye.